The square face shape is widest at the forehead, the jaw, and the cheeks. The goal is to soften the angles and create the appearance of a narrower forehead and jawline. Begin by selecting the correct type and color of foundation based on your client's skin tone and skin type. Next, apply a dot of the foundation to the forehead, cheek, and chin. Then blend the foundation in an upward and outward motion. If you've chosen the correct foundation, it will blend evenly from the jawline to the neck and chest. Since your goal is to give a slightly softer look to a square face, Apply a small amount of foundation that's one shade lighter than the client's skin tone to the center of the forehead, under the eyes up to the sides of the nose, and the center of the chin. Both shades of foundation should blend well together. You will also do some contouring. In this case, that means applying a slightly darker foundation to the lower outer cheek and jawline. The darker foundation can also be used at the sides of the forehead. To minimize the width of the nose, choose a concealer that's one to two shades darker than the foundation color. Use a concealer brush to apply the product along the sides of the nose. Then blend. You can narrow the nose even further by applying a small amount of lighter concealer along the bridge of the nose. Next, set the foundation and concealer with a translucent powder. After shaking powder onto a palette or tissue, use a large powder brush to apply it in a downward motion. Next, select a light shade of blush. Then, using a blush brush, apply color to the cheek, starting at the center of the face, in a sweeping upward and outward motion as you work to make the face appear longer, not wider. Complete the blush application by blending to soften the edges. To finish, we'll groom the eyebrows. Since our goal is to make the face appear more oval, we want to create a high arch at the ends of the eyebrows. Begin the arch directly above the outer corner of the iris and extend the arch outward. 